Welcome, this is item number 23 from the spring 2014 test release items for Tennessee TCAP, 7th grade math. The question says, Gabriella looked at a map that was drawn to scale. The map included the following actual distances between three towns along two straight highways. Gabriella measured the distance on the map between Elk City and Hobart and found it to be one and a half inches. Now, for many of you who live where this test would actually be taken, the idea that you would have a completely straight highway seems crazy. Uh, interstates, maybe. I mean, they sort of, but even then, you kind of have curves. But if you live in the Midwest or, you know, boring topography places where there's no hills or anything, straight highways are the norm. Because why would you curve when you could go straight? Most of the, you know, stuff in the area where we, where I tend to live, uh, is curvy because it's near the mountains. But, you know, Midwest, or even if you go out to middle to you know, western Tennessee tends to has some tendency to be flatter in certain parts, but not always. You know, there's always the hills somewhere. So with that said, Gabriella measured the distance on the map between Elk City and Hobart and found it to be one and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is make a note of that on the map because I can write on the test. Why wouldn't I? So she says that from here to here is one and a half inches. Which measurement is closest to the distance on the map in inches between Hobart and Pinkley? And this is what I want to know about. My question area is from here to here. Uh-oh, wait a minute. One, two, three numbers, miles and inches. So I have two ideas, because I've got miles and inches. I've got three numbers. And I'm looking because I have miles and inches for this relationship. I need miles and inches for this. I need inches for this relationship because I have miles. So need fourth number two three fourth. This is a proportion. There it is again. Rears its ugly head. So let's make a ratio for Hobart to Elk City. So the he ride. It's like the he drive. Uh, he drive from here to here. It's terrible English. So Hobart to Elk City. So I know it's 27 miles. Does it matter which one you put where? You can put one and a half on the top or 27 on the bottom. Doesn't matter. It makes no difference. Um, and you could do 1.5 here, one and a half. I usually hate fractions and fractions, but I'll leave it this time because I already wrote it. So why would I change it now? Now for the other one, my HP, the Hewlett Packard drive or pH, which I guess would tell you acidic versus basic science reference, what, what. So I know it's 63 miles. Like any, like I've said before in videos about the 2, 3, 4, about proportions, you want to keep like things on the same numerator or denominator tip. So you want to have, if you, if you ever run an animal hotel, if you've got dogs, you need to keep them all upstairs or all downstairs. You don't want to mix and match dogs and cats because they'll fight. So if we have miles on top and we're given miles, we need to keep it together. Now, uh, some people that I would work with would say, okay, what do I have to multiply 27 by to get 63? I would just use division and then multiply that by 1 half. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do cross multiply and divide. 63 times 1 and a half. And to do that, I might do... I'm not too good to use a calculator. Why wouldn't I be? You're welcome to just do it by hand. It doesn't take that long. Uh, times... I'll even do it with the ridiculous fraction calculator with a one and a half. I'll do a mixed number. Bold move. So 94 and one fourth here. One fourth. Ugh. Hideous. You deserve better. Even though my other handwriting is garbage too, I know. 94 and one fourth, I do believe. Let's make sure. No, one half. I don't know why I trusted myself. I knew it was wrong. 94 and 1 half equals 27 times x. Now to solve this one, all I need to do is get rid of times 27. So I'll divide. So this is essentially a cross multiply and divide question. I just like to show this step. You should show that step too. The thing that, what should you really have to write out for this? You really need to write out this. Do you need to write HE and HP? No. But you need to show yourself the ratio, that way you make sure the miles are on top and on the bottom. The most likely reason that people would miss this question, if they figure out that it's proportion, is they do something ridiculous, like type the wrong thing in the calculator at the wrong time. 
multiplying 27 times 63 because they're both here. But that's not how the setup goes. You have to do something else. So make sure that you take the time to write this out because this is a really easy question once you get it. So then I'm just going to divide by 27 and end up with 3 and 27 54 and I'll need to simplify. Your calculator is probably nice enough to do it for you. Mine is not. Still, is it simplified all the way down? If you have this type of calculator, you should know by now that you have to keep pressing it till you see the same answer a couple times. So I had 3.5, now I have 3.5. That means it's simplified all the way down as far as it's going to go. So I am good to go, and I can say my answer is D, 3.5 inches. Once again, this is a 2 3 fourth situation. Look out for them. I've done, this is the 22nd or 23rd question, and I've probably already seen six or seven of them. So be prepared to identify a proportion and then write it down and then solve it because it's not a difficult idea. It just takes a little while to see it, and once you get good at it, you can earn a ton of points very quickly, and uh, that's what you should do. So that's it.